Professor Huang, uh, what do you think? Uh, what does Beijing want to do with India right now? I think uh, Beijing obviously want to have a good and a stable relationship with India because the two neighbors uh, have to be on a, on a, you know in a good re relationship, uh, no matter where I want to say. But I do want to. Uh, you know, uh, differ from Professor Deepak's point that the status quo has been changed by China's side. Uh, I, you know, Prime Minister Modi said very clearly in his uh, address to the nation, I think uh, Professor Deepak must uh, also see that, uh, that uh, no Indian territory has been invaded. And uh, that's what Modi said. In, uh, Modi said the Indians has not been invaded, uh, which means uh, China or any others has not Invade India on this uh, on this issue. So, if that's the case, how could the status quo be changed by China's side? And uh, I think that that clearly shows that uh, Modi's position on this. That is, um, of course, Modi has to appease the very strong uh, national resentment at home. And Modi also have to keep, like you said, I agree with you, keep the Indian Army's moral high be, uh, uh, out of this uh, clash. But that does not mean that Indian thinks China has changed its status quo. And I don't know who do you refer to when you say some that China experts said that China is going to reinforce its uh, its uh, stronghold uh, in uh, in the border area. And those stronghold has been there for for many years. It's not newly established. It is Indian side that has been established over forty or fifty, uh, you know, stronghold along the area. And uh, as far as I know, it's the Indian side that has. Uh, uh, you know, across the uh, uh, actual control line after the, the army level uh, talk between India and China, uh, this uh, commander acted on its own. This is uh, internationally known. But of course, Indian side has their own story. But Indian story doesn't mean it's truth. Uh, because I really appreciate, appreciate Prime Minister Modi's uh, uh, points that is, uh, India has not been invaded. It is not in China's interest either uh, to invade India on this. But one thing I have to uh, as pointed out here is that the border area or the border conflict between China and India is not of a simple bilateral relation uh, problem. It's a problem of internal uh, uh, dignity and the integrity of uh -huh. of both nations. Because those border, right. uh, let me finish. This border along China India was not drawn by Indians, neither by Indians nor by the Chinese. It was drawn by the British. So therefore. Both sides, both Beijing and New Delhi, understands that they have to be very, very careful uh, uh, to handle the border issues. Otherwise, that will backlash at home uh, to, to give rise to a very strong uh, national resentment. So therefore, for a long time, I think it's an understanding for both China and, and the Indian, for both leaders, that th this border issue is more a matter of management not for solution, because it's not realistic to, to try to solve those issues. So I, therefore, I think both leaders have to be very careful not to, you know, to, to, to let this uh, border conflict, uh, uh, you know, right. escalate, escalate into a full-fledged uh, clash. That's nobody's interest in doing that.